I should apologize, Grace. Saying that I was chosen like I'm somehow more special, I really didn't mean it that way. I hope you can... I'm sorry. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. Having second thoughts? If so, now's probably the time to mention it. I would never do that to Lady Aphrodite. I'm just nervous. That's understandable. If... if I can ask, what does it feel like? <sighs> Don't worry about it. My foot has been lodged firmly in my mouth since this began. <laughs> it's a relief to know I won't be the only one. If... if I can ask, what does it feel like after it happened? I want to apologize again, Grace. I really messed up. It looks like I'll be doing that a lot. Lady Aphrodite said I'm ready, but I don't know. Being a god isn't something you can really be ready for. I mean, they, you are not gods though, are you? Not really. You don't think so? To me, you all just seem like people. Special people, sure, but flawed and lost, like the rest of us. If, if I can ask, what does it feel like after it happens? Do you feel different? I'm not sure. It happened so fast, I didn't know what to think. Calliope died, and then... All this happened. You didn't remember anything? About her? I was so scared at the time, I didn't know what to think. I had no idea who Calliope really was. You didn't remember anything? Not really. I still felt like me, if that's what you're asking. You didn't remember anything? About her? Who she was? She was just... gone? Yeah. Isn't that the point of all this? I just wanted to be sure. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it could be real. Your name's really Venus, huh? <sighs> Everybody asks me that, even the other idols. Maybe that's why Lady Aphrodite noticed me in the first place. She says it was fated to be. I say it's because my mama was a diehard hippie. <laughs> How do you know Aphrodite exactly? <laughs> so I was working at this homeless shelter, right? A couple of years ago, and she came in with one of the older residents. And she was there in this, like, amazing dress. And she's sitting with this guy and really listening to him. Like, they were old friends or something. I just thought, what is someone like her doing in a place like this? So, I just went over and introduced myself. That's it? Just like that? <laughs> yeah. She came back to the shelter a few times, but by then, I guess she'd taken an interest in me instead. I have to ask, how does one choose, well, the next you? How did that conversation with Aphrodite even come up? I didn't know what she really was. Not for a long time. I just figured she was this lonely rich lady. I loved her stories, though. Ooh, I could listen to her for hours, and she never asked for anything from me, not once. Then, one day, she brought it up, like it was nothing, like a job offer. Did you believe her? Hell no, not at first. Then she brought me to Olympus, and, well, hard not to then. Are you really okay with all this? You know what's gonna happen, right? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. 
She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. What made you agree? You're giving up so much. It can't just be about helping. Nobody's that nice. I'm not giving up as much as you think. I'm just a painter. A painter? <laughs> Did you think working at the shelter was my entire life? Painting doesn't pay all the bills. Once I'm Aphrodite, I want to keep painting. I'll have all those memories to draw on. The beautiful ones and the terrible ones. Maybe it'll even help her. Me. Process them. Finally. And if Aphrodite changes her mind? I don't think she will. But if she does, I won't. You probably need to get ready. I shouldn't keep you. No. Oh, this is Lady Aphrodite's big night, not mine. It'll be yours later, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. I guess it will. You said earlier you're okay with all this, but how can you be? I saw a lot of people in crisis at the shelter. I knew something was wrong with Lady Aphrodite. She's in so much pain, Grace. She won't let you see how much. Errol's called me one night desperate. She wouldn't stop screaming. She didn't know where she was. She... She's a good person, Grace. A good soul. She deserves mercy. But don't you feel this is wrong? I mean, you're ending your life. It's like some kind of murder-suicide pact. I don't think of it like that. Lady Aphrodite is not committing suicide, and I'm not being murdered. Aren't you? Your life is ending. It's being taken over, swallowed up by Aphrodite's grief. I'm becoming part of something bigger. Something amazing. Or maybe you're right. It'll be terrible. And I'll end up in so much pain I'll regret it. So why go through with it? Because Lady Aphrodite needs me. Maybe, just maybe, if I'm added into the mix of all the people she's been, maybe things will be different. <laughs>